today on Divorce Court. Okay, we've been married for two years and we live in separate houses. It makes me feel like this is not a marriage. It makes me feel like we're dating. It will really make me sad if my husband doesn't change his way because I really love my husband and I want our marriage to work. Reggie always complained about us getting a new apartment, but every time I try to save money, she always asks me to do something or she want her hair and nails done. If she doesn't change, then I don't know what to tell her. She's just going to be mad at me all the time because I'm not going to leave her. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Reggie Nixon and Brandon Nixon. The two of you have been married for two years. You have a two-year-old child. Uh, you are here in divorce court because uh, things aren't working out. So, Ms. Nixon, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me what are your current concerns in your marriage with Mr. Nixon? Well, Mr. Nixon will wake up and gets on his phone and watches other females shake their butts on the... Hang on. He will watch his other females shake their butts on Facebook or whatever, Instagram, and I don't like that. And he also will watch pornography. I feel like that's a huge problem. Like, why are you mm -hmm. looking at all these other women shake their butt or looking at all these women? Well, I mean, are, are, is he watching twerking videos or something, or is it...? Yes, they twerking videos, but you got Are you me. watching porn and twerking videos? Well, I can, I can talk about the twerking part. They be on my timeline, like... I can't control what people put on social media. But you ain't got to watch it. You how, watch how it. It's a difference. I can't watch it scrolling down. Okay, you look at them for extra five minutes. It's a difference. Okay, just like you go on your phone and watch women play with women on your phone. Same okay. thing. You... <laughs> you got your nerve. <laughs> you're doing the same thing. You know, first of all, I got to say, you're 24 and you're 22. You, you know, and 22 is, and 24, to me, is for growing up, not having a baby and getting married. You got a two-year-old between you two, so you've, you've, you've got to be grown. But this is, this is not unfamiliar but young adult fun. behavior on both of your parts. Right. But I don't do it all the time as he making it seem. He do it more than me. Like, he wakes up and do it. I don't wake up and go to my you phone and watch You wait a few it. hours before yeah, you look at I, women playing case, with women. Yeah, I, I, I wait a few hours. That's yeah. not true. Ms. Nixon, you also say that Mr. Nixon sends pictures of his body parts to, to, to people. Is that accurate? Yes. No. He... So I didn't see that from your... Ms. Your, your, your Nixon, your don't person? talk to him. Talk to me. What did you see and when? I seen, like, and it was the beginning of our marriage, he sent a picture to his body part to another female. And she, I seen in the text message that Are she... Are we talking about his situation? Yes, his situation. Yes, Your Honor. Are you sending people pictures of your situation? No, 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 no. What do you mean, no, 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 no? I, I'm innocent. I'm innocent on that part. No, you're not. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. They gonna put you in Congress. <laughs> I hope so. Mr. Nixon, why don't you tell me of her, her wrongs or failings? We've been talking about you for a while. Oh, Does okay. she engage in any similar behavior other than watching Women with Women, which Work, we already she, know about? She way worse than me. Like, she flirt with other men and women in my face. Is that online or is that in, in public? In person, in public, in real life. Has she ever done anything like you did with, you know, sharing your situation? No, no. But she done told people plenty of things, like, like one time she told a dude on Facebook that she used to uh, date before she met me, because he had went to jail. That's why I guess they stopped seeing each other and she met me. Okay, but I still didn't do nothing with them. I didn't, it don't I didn't matter. interact on it. it. Don't matter. I can tell anybody anything. You That's not me. I'm married. going to do anything. You don't tell I another man. I'm married, but... You don't tell another man. Wait, hey, hold up, hold up. What did he tell her? What did she tell him? Okay, well, he can... he started off saying, Oh, I want to throw some money okay, on you. I want you to stop. I want you to dance on me. I want you to, uh, I want to throw money on you, baby, blah, blah, blah. So she replied back, laugh out loud, okay. Let me just get my uh, husband to uh, babysit our daughter so I can do that. Ms. Ms. Nixon, did you do that? Yes. 
I mean, I did it, but Case I just closed. was telling him so he can just leave me alone. It's like, I didn't go along with Case it, Your closed. Honor. But he was texting another female. Gabby, no, no, let, let me clue you in to something. To get a guy to stop making sexual advances is not to say, okay, let's go do it. <laughs> that encourages him. It doesn't stop him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, but I think the two of you, you 24, 22, I don't think you were ready to get married. I think you had a baby and thought you had to get married, and you're b both behaving like single individuals. That's my little 10 cents worth for that. But he texted a girl, he felt a real life to tell you that only reason why I did it is because he texted the girl and asked her, did she ever threesome before? That was like, you did that months before that even came. I just did that like three no, weeks No, I ago. did not do that, no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that doesn't make it even a difference because the day you talking about, I seen you that night, so how can I go over a guy house that you say that I'm going over if I no, was with you? you told him, let me try to get him to babysit. Okay, so but I know Mr. and Mrs. Nixon, Mr. and Mrs. Nixon, both of you just wrong. Both of you just wrong out the gate. When you're married, you don't make sexual innuendos, contacts, you don't mail your situation, you don't do any of that with other people. It means only, un all, just the two of you. So both of you were all the way wrong, fragrant foul, both sides, they cancel each other out. Second down, you say, however, that you do all of those things because she doesn't satisfy you sexually. Tell me about that. I'm not gonna say she don't satisfy me. It's just, I try to respect her when she says no. So I go to another room get, and get but my I own space. Like that's not satisfying you if you go into another room. Stop, watch Mrs. Nixon. I'm just saying, like, I'd rather for me watch a porno in a sanctified place with nobody around. Sanctified porno. <laughs> sure. I can't have no interruptions, Judd. I'm sorry. Mrs. Nixon, is it true that he looks for more sex from you than, than you want to do? And I'm not saying one, right, one person is right and one person is wrong, but sometimes he has needs that, that you don't fill. Yes, he felt like we should have sex like three or five times a day. I don't feel like that's right. I guess he felt like since when we first got together, yes, we used to have sex all the time. We can mm -hmm. have sex like four or five times if we wanted and to. And you used to initiate but most of them. Yes, I did because before we had our baby, yes, we used to have sex every day. But now we have a baby and I don't want to have sex all the time. I And I get that, Mrs. Nixon. Since he does have such a high sex drive, do you object to him handling himself as opposed to going outside of the house? He's not bugging you for it. He's not asking you to do things you don't want to do. He's just taking care of it in the privacy of another room. Eh, no Thank harm, you. no foul. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I do have a problem with that because I feel like eventually, I feel like he might cheat on me. Okay. Eh, well, wait, yeah, that didn't make any sense. Don't worry about it. You don't have to respond. <laughs> I feel like the real reason is the only reason why we don't stay together is because his, his family members don't like me. Why do you believe his family members don't like you? Because we did have um, relations um, early, like two days after I met him. Now, we've been talking about flirting and texting and all that kind of stuff, but the deepest thing that I saw in the, in, in the content and the problems that you have is the two of you have never, though married two years and with a two-year-old child, have never lived together. Is that accurate? Yes. yes. How did that happen? Well, Mr. Nixon, he asked me to find us a place in, his, in our budget. So I will find us a place in our budget and he'll go along with it. But if it don't have something that he wants, he be like, well, I don't want that one because this don't have this. Like, if it don't have heat or water or something, he be like, oh, it don't have heat and water, so I don't want that. Well, wait a minute now. <laughs> heat and water is pretty no, basic. I mean, it's included. not like it's a luxury. <laughs> no, Your Honor, I mean like included. Included in the price. Yes. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, <laughs> you know. Hold up. <laughs> Mr. Nixon, is that why you, you're not living with your wife and your child? Not exactly, no. You tell me why you don't believe you're living together. I feel like the reason why we're not living together because it feels like 
when when she did have a job and we was able to help each other, she always wanted to find an apartment that was too expensive for our budget. We only if we was to work together and put our checks together in two weeks, we only have eight hundred. Mm -hmm. She'd be trying to get apartments seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. So it's like, how can how can we? How okay, can... you're living with your. Parents. parents, and you're living with your parents. My mother and my sister. Y your mother and your sister. Uh, let me ask you this. Are you working? No, I'm a student. I you're a student? Mm -hmm. You go to school full-time? Somewhat. No. Somewhat. Can you get somewhat of a job? Yes, to, I can. To help out with... I mean, if you want to live together, you have to make certain sacrifices. Right. And one of them is you have to make enough money in order to do that. W what do you do for a living? I work at fast food. Fast food. So he's not going to be able to afford it himself. If you want to live with him so badly, why don't you get a job? Because Mr. Nixon make it seem like he can do everything by himself. He no, tells me that, okay, it's okay, babe. You can finish school. Let me let you finish school first, and then you can get a job. It's not like I haven't been trying, Your Honor, to get a job, but it's like Mr. Nixon make it seem like I not trying to do anything, which I am trying to find a job, Your Honor. But I feel like the real reason is, the only reason why we don't stay together is because his, his family members don't like me. Why do you believe his family members don't like you? Because, um... Be uh, truthful. Because we did have, um, relations, um, early, like, two days after I met him, and I did get pregnant two weeks after I met him, so I feel like that's why they don't like me. And he, um, his family member uh, went so far to have one of my exes try to tell him something about me to break us up. And they had us test our baby. They had us do a DNA test for our child. Okay, and he was the father, correct? Yes, yeah. he is the father. Mr. Nixon, once you have a child and get married, what your family thinks ought matter. not, d d doesn't matter. You're supposed to do what you need to do to to house your... And you, too, not just him. You're right. You're both supposed to... I mean, you laid down, you went and had the baby, and now you, you know, living on, on, your, on your families. What? what oh, I know I'm wasting my breath, <laughs> but can I just ask that you make no more until you're on your own and together and, and okay? I agree. I, can I ask for that? Yes. Is that too much? No, I mean, not too that. much. As you. I know saying no to you is a whole experience in and of itself. You get loud and mouthy, don't you? Yes, but that don't mean that he still have to have to do it. He still needs to pay his foot on and say no. Like So you're telling me that the problem is he's not strict enough on you. I want him to just learn how to tell me no. Just because I say I want new shoes does not mean you have to give me new shoes. Did Reggie and Brandon rush into marriage for the wrong reasons? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at DivorceCourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. My understanding, however, it is it's not just income, it's outgo that is the problem. You say he spends money like he's balling a little bit. Explain that to me. Well, Your Honor, he would spend money on drinks with his friends, and he would spend money on he you a lot of different spend? credit cards and stuff. And I'm like, why do you have all these credit cards if you don't have any money to get us a place. What's the purpose of having all these credit cards and what's the purpose of balling like you have it and you don't? Mr. Nixon, do you want to respond to that? Do you, do yes, you spend do. Man, money irresponsibly? I get help spending that money irresponsibly. Because, From her? Yes. Okay, but it's called I'm, enough. Stop. I don't spend money on myself. I never spend money on myself. The only thing I do spend money on myself is recreational things, as in what she talking about, drinks or whatever. But other than that, when it comes to clothes, I barely have clothes. I barely have new shoes. I don't have none of that. I get her new shoes almost every 
three months. She got so many pairs of new high heels. She ain't never had no high heels in her life until she... Is he buying you shoes and stuff like that? Oh, that's his... That's on his mm -hmm. doing. I don't... Just because I say something does not mean Brandon have to do it. I say I want to get a place. Do we... Is we in our own place? No. So if I... You're not in your own place, Ms. Nixon, because you take... You say you want some shoes, he's buying you shoes. You're nickel and diamond away your money so you'll never have a dollar to get an apartment with. That's on you. You can't say, just because I tell him to do something doesn't mean he ought to do it. You're a grown woman. You're older than he is. You should make... You should request things that you need and that you want and take care of the business you need and want. Just don't go nah, 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 nah over to him and then expect him to say no to you because I know saying no to you is a whole experience in and of itself. You get loud and mouthy, don't you? Yes, but that don't mean that he still have to... have to do it. He still need to piss foot on and say no, like... So you're telling me that the problem is he's not strict enough on you. I want him to just learn how to tell me no. Just because I say I want new shoes does not mean you have to give me new shoes. I say I want a lot of things I still haven't got does not mean anything. You know what being a mother means is you have to know yourself what your, your, your obligations are. You have to know what your limitations are. You don't have, shouldn't have to rely on him. You have a daughter relying on you. You've got to know that you can't afford those shoes. You can't be a little girl anymore. You chose that. So, so you stop asking him to monitor you. You monitor you. <laughs> whole world full of people, whole generation full of people who want everything they want right now and then wonder why they can't have everything else down the road. That's because you're taking care of everything you want right now. Down the road, you'll never get there. But, y'all, can I say something? Oh, if you have to. <laughs> well, when he do get his, um, his paycheck, he feels like 20 or $40 is enough for me and my daughter to eat off of. He couldn't, um... He had 35... It was a $35 application fee that we were supposed to do for our apartment, and he wouldn't pay for it because he say that he couldn't do the money order. And I'm like, why you can't do the money order? He told me to wait for the money order, and I was like, why you have to wait for the money order? He was like, because... You guys um, can't afford an apartment. They, you're giving me a 10-minute story about a $35 application fee for an apartment you two cannot afford. We could afford it because it was in our budget, is what I'm saying. And he couldn't... He couldn't pay the $35 application fee, is what I'm saying. He asked me to find an apartment. If you can't afford a $35 application fee, you can't afford the apartment. I That's say what that, that is. What should Reggie and Brandon do first to save their marriage? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Mrs. Nixon, you made me tired. <laughs> you wore me out. I've known you for, what, 20 minutes? I'm ready to take a nap. <laughs> you need to be a little cooler and calmer. You need to be a little more mature. Mm. You need to be a little less I want, I want, I want. Mm. You need to be a little more I need to, I need to, I ought to, I will. Don't expect to have all of your current desires uh, met. You got obligations that you made out the gate with a dude you didn't know. And now you're telling him he's not doing right by you by not telling you that you shouldn't have the things you ask him to give you. If that's not the, the height of ignorance, I don't know what is. At Mr. Nixon, man up and cover it up. <laughs> you a dude now. You got a, you got a kid. You got to make a decision about what you need to do as a man. You understand what I'm saying? Because yeah. your kid doesn't have a chance because this nonsense is crazy. Yeah. You need to get off the social media with all of this, that, and the other, and... and oh! And please, don't send your situation out to other people. It's just too much. You should go home to your families, but you should look for them to raise you a little more because you're not grown yet, and you need to grow up a whole lot. I understand. A whole lot! <laughs> Good luck to the both of you. This matter is a joke. Maybe once I get a better job and get more money, then I can start worrying about me and Reginelle. But for now, I need to just worry about what I need to do for our daughter. 
I kind of disagree with the judge do feel like we should stay together because that will help our marriage also. Living apart, I feel like that still won't help us.